Here's a sharpening method that's a hybrid of convex bevel and double bevel methods. My sharpening stones are in a simple holder made from shop scraps in about half an hour. I'm using a DMT extra extra coarse diamond plate, Norton coarse, medium, and fine India stones, leather strop, and Norton translucent Arkansas stone. As visual aids to help me maintain proper angles, I have these angle blocks. To use the angle blocks, you set them next to the stone according to the angle you're trying to maintain. You visually align your blade up and down so it's parallel with the block. For supplies, I have some paper towels, some flex cut gold compound, and some mineral oil. The stone holder has a simple clamping edge for securing it to the bench. The stones themselves, along with the spacers, are just fitted loosely into the holder. I prepare all but the Arkansas stones with a little bead of oil and charge the strop with compound. In order to show what a good edge I get, I'm going to have to sacrifice the existing edge on this chisel. Oh! If that didn't make you cringe, nothing will. It's dull now. I start off with a very loose convex bevel across the entire surface, using a 25 degree angle block and a coarse India stone. Here's the side view of that. You can see that I'm getting almost a five degree variation in that bevel. This is all the shaping I need. All the rest of this will be done with the 30 degree visual guide block, going in sequence through the stones and the strop. Now I'm aiming for much more precise tolerances. Once again, here's the side view, and you'll note that I very carefully take only five full strokes on the stone. Then I continue on to the medium stone. Once again, five pull strokes. Why only five? I found that with this chisel, if I do any more, the burr turns into a very large flap on the end, which requires more work to remove. Now to the fine India stone. Side view on the fine stone, once again five strokes. I now have a small burr right on the end. It's hard to see by eye or with the camera, but I can feel it if I run my fingernail over it. My fingernail catches and I know I have enough to work with. No point in going further. From here I jump over the strop to the Arkansas stone. We'll see why in a moment. Here's the side view on the Arkansas stone. Now I need to flip the chisel to work the burr on the back. This is why I have this stone on the end, so I can hang the chisel off the edge. This also shows why I stop when I have a small burr. Otherwise I'd have to put in a lot more work to remove a larger burr. Now I can go back to the strop, stropping carefully the front side and the back side. The chisel needs to be held dead flat against the strop when doing the back. One more quick stroke top and bottom should take care of it. Here's the side view of stropping. Okay, that looks like I have a pretty good edge. Once again, it's really hard to capture this on camera.
I've found that taking pine end grain shavings makes a reasonable test for sharpness. If I can get pencil sharpener thin shavings, that's good. This blade is a harder steel and also much wider. Time to dull it. As before, I'll start out with a 25 degree convex bevel to loose tolerances. I put the angle block at the front of the stone because I want the stroke to come up to 25 degrees at the end and be a lower angle at the far end. Here's the side view of the 25 degree work. I put the 30 degree block at the far end of the stone because I want the stroke to start at 30 and maintain that angle as precisely as possible through the whole stroke. For the more durable A2 steel, I find that it takes about 10 strokes. Here's the side view of that on the coarse stone. On to the medium. Side view of the medium. the fine side view of the fine and then the Arkansas front and back Side view on the Arkansas. And finally finishing up on the straw. side view of the strop. You'll notice I didn't use the DMT extra extra coarse diamond plate in this video. That's because I only use it for very extra heavy shaping. Once I've established a shape, I can maintain it with the coarse India stone afterwards. If you prefer other abrasives besides oil stones, here you can see a Norton 8000 water stone and a sanding block installed in the holder. 